Hello everybody, 2 for 4 here, and welcome back to Legacy of the Dragonborn. Hello. Oh, hi. Um, we are here today outside of the Dragonborn Gallery because it is the 50th episode. Woo! <laughs> Pretty exciting. Um, but today, uh, we're going to go on a tour of the gallery to see what we have, uh, but mostly see what we don't have, so... <laughs> Without further ado, uh, we're going to start outside. Uh, beautiful walkway, beautiful fountain. The statue that we got from the uh, haunted mu mu Night of the Museum quest. That's the one. Yep. Um, I do believe we got some patio seating. I think that maybe also just applies to up there at the safe house. Um, in the older version of Legacy of the Dragonborn, you used to be able to get to the safe house from from the front there used to be a staircase that would lead you up there hi there hi and i always and i always found that really uh useful uh it just made getting to the safe house easier but oh but as far as i can tell that's not really an option anymore um so i guess we're going to start where we should always start which is the very beginning of the museum you know the the main entrance so let's hop right inside of course, we are greeted immediately with the Hall of Heroes and a display for something we don't quite have just yet. Uh, and of course, our handy dandy donation box, which accrues money for us while we're away. 269 gold, not too shabby. Handy little plaque, which tells us we currently have 895 displays. Noise. Commemorative bench for Megumi. All right, well. Jumping right into the Hall of Heroes. Uh, as you can see, it is... Mm, I want to say mostly empty. Um, we do have a handful of things, like, as you can see, the Chrysamir, the Zephyr. Uh, Steel Battle Axe of the Fiery Souls. Sixth House Bell Hammer. What is this? Ah, where is it? Uh, Aladen, uh, El Eliadon's Ward. Beautiful. Alvante's armor, hopes fire, true flame, cudgel. Uh, here are our current dragon priest masks and uh, various claws that we have displayed so far. Not too bad, not too shabby. Still, still a decent amount to go for these. This display is also mostly empty except for red wave. Very nice. I like how it shimmers. Uh, this is the Knights of the Nine Divine Crusader display, which we haven't touched. We have the quest for it, uh, which we'll do in the future. Um, but yeah. Pretty empty. Stendar's Hammer, Grave Digger, Skull Crusher, Thorn Blade, Grand Tosh's Fist. Just a lot of really cool things. Very cool. Mostly empty. <laughs> Uh, the upstairs of the Hall of Heroes is mostly more of the same. It uh, just involves mostly longer things like staves and... But uh, there's also a spot for daggers and unique helmets and amulets and rings and gloves and boots. Absolutely wonderful. Also coming along really nice. This will take us back outside. To the upper area which also connects up to the safe house beautiful here's where the lunar objects goes these are just the three that we acquired at the forge uh, as well as veloth's judgment i think these are part of the oblivion artifacts mod uh, which is why you have this at escutcheon of coral and the robes of creativity and, of course, the display for the Dragon Scrolls. Dragon Scrolls? Elder Scrolls. Of which we have currently none. Uh, adjacent to the Hall of Heroes is this Hall of Other Stuff, which uh, has a few displays, which I believe you get for clearing out certain Falmer Caves. At least that was my impression of it. As well as the, disp the, uh, the displays for the Winter Sun mod. Uh, which includes all the various shrines. Varun Dagons, Meridia, Vermina, Cirabane, Trinimac, Jeffrey, our boy Jeffrey. Hello, Lord. Let me pray directly at your shrine. 
Thank you so much. 168 favor. Beautiful. As well as a few unique artifacts from the Winter Sun, like the Goblet of Infinite Grace, uh, which we don't have. So, ah, yes. Aryan's office, which I'm sure you've all seen many a time. It's got armor for the museum, a place for us to make uh, archaeology artifacts, as well as a place for us to make replicas for the things that we had to give away or are otherwise using. And of course, the wonderful ability to sort all of the items we have into the museum. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I think before we check out the other parts of the museum, we owe it to ourselves to check out very quickly the archaeology, or yeah, the archaeology guild, Explore Society Guild House, that's it, yeah. Now, there isn't a ton to see in here aside from bedding, but there are some unique to the gallery displays, most of which we don't have, Kamal's map, uh, this guild armor which we don't have on here for whatever reason stone hands which we do have on here um but yeah just various uh explorers tools that go in this trophy case none of which we have um but yeah that's really all there is to see the explorer society hey latoria since we're here i'm gonna give you all the ruined books i've collected ah, excellent let's see what you have Ooh, that's a lot Ah, good, good. Oh, she takes burned books, take too. It some time to decipher these. Come back tomorrow and Latoria will let you know what she has found. Thanks, Latoria. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what you found. Well, next up we have the armory, which is where you can display the various armor and weapons from all the various armor sets that basically exist within the game, uh, including Dragon, which we have none of, Daedric, which we have, you know, a handful of things, you know, I think, I don't know what this is, Stalrum, which we also have none of. You know, Forsworn, uh, Ancient Nordic, Dwemer, Steel, Iron, Falmer. The list goes on. Nordic, Elven, Glass, Orcish, Blades equipment, apparently. Ancient Falmer stuff. That's, huh, that's cool. Ebony. So just the basic standard stuff, including a few more additions, as well as all the various hold armors and uh, war garb, so to speak. Oh, and silver hands. Can't forget the silver stuff. This is also where our Thane weaponry goes. Uh, if I can find one, ah, here's one. The Sword of Whiterun, beautiful. Ah, yep, yeah. the Sword of Solitude, as well as the Kazogal's Glee that we got from there. And Thum Fadan. Beautiful, wonderful. Still a lot to do, still a lot to put into place. Uh, but, you know, it's coming along nicely, slowly but surely. Um, adjacent to here are the uh, east and west wings of the armory where we can put our own armor displays. Uh, I have not done that. Not really a huge point to it, quite frankly, at least for me. Uh, there's also various miscellaneous weapons uh, that go on these displays here. Still, as you can see, just so much we need to fill out. Um, 895 displays in, and we are still barely scratching the surface, it seems. Next up is the library, the three-storied room in which we can display books and treasure maps and various unique pieces of paper and book collections. Uh, the Lessons of Vivic, City Guides, King Edward Volumes, Hairbane's Bestiary, and so much more. We can also sort books that we just have on us. They'll go into these book returns and then we can be sorted. And then, well, quite frankly, I'm not sure where they go from there. They're just whisked away sorted or otherwise oh and the ones that aren't sorted are just chilling right here all right well that works up here is for the books that uh, aren't part of series uh they're just sort of unique books um yeah notes on the lunar forge as an example still mostly empty as you can see we have quite a lot of ground to cover even as far as books are concerned uh just so much and apparently just just so many treasure maps and treasure hunter maps and I think what is that what oh that 15 good lord 15 yes. treasure maps it's a lot of treasure maps um back down here are where the unique 
books go that are like, I don't know, special unique. So the Book of the Dragonborn, Five Songs of King Wolfarth, uh, the Mythic Dawn commentaries, Chronicles, Hanging Gardens. I guess these specific books are um, rare? And there's also a book duplicating station or a printing press, I guess is what that is. <laughs> tomato, tomato, really? From there, we'll go ahead and check out the East Exhibit Halls, which is where a large majority of our paintings have ended up that we've collected. Um, still quite a lot of empty room as far as paintings go, but still quite, quite a lot. Uh, let's start with the Hall of Lost Empires, uh, just all things relating to Dwemer, Ancient Nordic, and Ancient Falmer. Uh, we get displays here for each Ancient Nordic, Dwemer Ruin, yada yada that, whoa, that we uncover. Uh, so up there is the one where we got the scratchings from the uh, Markarth, uh, the Falmer scratchings. Don't know what that one is, probably the one where we had the Dwemer Control Spider. Um, the plaques over here tell us uh, Bethardums, Urkengathans, Urkund, Foral Host, Deadman's Respite, Ustengrav. So those will continue to fill out as we clear more of those dungeons. This is for, you know, where we got this, obviously. What? What is this? Balam Os Adra, Charged Replica, and Balam Os Adra. What? I have no idea what that is. Of course, it's where we're going to put more unique things that we get. So here's the spider control rod as an example, the tonal staff of Karagas, the gem socket toolkit, uh, various control pedestals and slots for the resonance gems, uh, as well as spots for the three uh, tools of Kagranax under Wraithguard and Keening. Up here is where Ethereum armor is going to go. Uh... So far, of course, we have none. And then I do be believe back here is some extra uh, Dwemer stuff. Like this is gonna be the Wheels of Lull display right here. Uh, I don't know that we have any of them so far. We did give away the Magnusian visor. I thought for sure we'd be able to make it, but uh, we can't, so. Here's Guitar Zir and the Commandment, or what? Which one is that? There's so many different ones all jammed onto this one box. I don't know which one I have. Uh, either way. Here they are. Here's the displays, of which we have none. Lolian shield, clockwork sword. I guess that's probably also part of the wheels of Lol. And extra ethereal stuff as part of the extended sort of ethereum set. Whew. So much more that still needs to be displayed. Crazy, crazy. Uh, the Daedric Gallery. We've seen quite a lot of this as we went on our various Dwemer hunts. This place is looking snazzy and full, but still missing quite a lot. Goldbrand, Neb Crescent, whatever's supposed to go here. <laughs> Boethia's Walking Stick, Fearstruck, Shadowrend, Clavicus Vile. But we do still have quite a lot displayed in here so far. But there's even more things that need to go down here. Here's where all of Hermaeus Mora's various books are going to go, including the Ogma Infinium, which we won't end up using. We're just going to display it because it belongs in a museum, you know? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Apparently there's also a sigil stone we'll acquire at some point, which we'll put here. That'll look pretty cool. This will be a plaque on the Oblivion Crisis. Very nice. Lots of Herme or Mayrun's Dagon things in here. Which makes sense. But of course, still quite a lot to fill out. Um, a lot of the displays in here can actually go to Deep Home, but, uh, well, we got our ass trashed last time we tried to go into Deep Home, so. Let's go into the Hall of Oddities instead. As the name suggests, it's where all the odd shit goes, including various statues of Debella that I've stolen, King Orgnum's coffer, which actually is in my house, getting me lots of money. Our various things in jars also make their way to this spot, uh, the exception being the bugs in jars, which go into the Gallery of Natural Science. 
Um, in here is even more various stuff. Our hammered pots, our weird things. Just, you know, it's the Hall of Oddities. And of course, the completely lore-breaking commemorative <laughs> plates. Oh, there's also a handful of bugs in jars that go here. Uh, there's no a lot. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason for where things in jars go. It seems uh, they just sort of go everywhere that that fancies them. Uh, I do believe this hall mainly covers the vigilance of Stendar and the various items you can get from that. I do believe the only display we have in here is this old Histus flask. Uh, the rest of the room is completely empty because we have not touched the vigilance of Stendar at all. And in fact, it was the last mod that I was working on in the last series so this is also where our fate cards will go once we have all of those and it is where our various coins end up uh, most of which we don't have whoa we have that double-headed septum that I assumed would go in here somewhere uh, but it doesn't appear to and then the old man's lucky coin which we don't have Here's our various jade figures. We don't have a ton so far. Not a whole lot else to show in here. We did get our hands on Isis Stallroom Spoon of Assassination. Uh, I had to look up how to get this because I really don't know how you're supposed to work that out otherwise. Uh, aside from being exceedingly clever, which anyone who's watched this far knows that that is just not the case. Um, but pretty cool nonetheless. Also some wonderful artwork of various things and people and places. I think that's High Hrothgar. Looks nice. Moving right along, we're going to check out the Gallery of Natural Sciences next. This is where a large majority of the displays you see around need to be built uh, from the resources that you collect uh, from the things you kill. So I needed to kill wolves to build the wolves and the elk display. As well as the saber tooth bear. Do you, yes, I am wonderful. We're, wait, yes, that is wonderful. Do you have something to say? Hello? Oh, you're here. Hey, what's the story with the sword in your office? Oh, really? Uh, that's not what I meant to say. Well, it's in In the meantime, yeah, here's yeah. another possible artifact you could look into. Thanks. Ah, my friend. Oh, God. Farewell. How can I help? Search the Archmage's quarters. Hey, what's the story with the sword in your office? Ah, yes, that would be my personal sword. Idra sword, Neat. meaning ancestral edge. I like it. What? Don't picture me as the swashbuckling type? <laughs> oh, well. I assure you, I am just as capable with the blade as I am with the book. Of course you I are. I just don't often find much call to employ the former. That's, yeah. And so it remains in a place of honor and remembrance for me. Cool. Were you, were you, that's cool. Cool. See you around. See you around, man. Love me some Aryan. He's such a good guy. Um, I don't have the Horker display. Uh, I thought for sure that maybe I would have at least some of these from the Horkers I've killed, but guess not. Got the Karas. Don't have the Frostbite Spider one for whatever reason. I have not yet put hands on Frostbite Spider eggs, which I find surprising, of course. And of course, I haven't killed any of the various innocent creatures throughout Skyrim, so no displays for them here yet. Do have trolls and goats. Wait, I don't have goats? Come on! Yeah, see? That falls under innocent creatures I've yet to kill. Hagravens, Spriggans, bastards. Both dead. Both on display. Dragons? Of course I got tons of dragons up here. I think I already maybe built some of these displays. Oh, yeah, I did build that one and that one. Sarotar? I haven't built that one because you need his scales, which I guess you get specifically from him. But... I thought for sure there was one of these maybe I missed? I don't know. Either way, looks really cool. Uh, here's where all of our fish have been ending up. You put their little uh, uh, jars or whatever on these displays and then they, they join the fish tank. And it looks really cool. Um, I thought that was maybe the same with the various fairies we've been collecting, uh, but it is not. Uh, this appears to be fertile soil in which I can plant various things. Yeah. 
the Gildergaline and various flora. But yeah, nice. Upstairs from the gallery of natural science is where all of our fossil mining stuff goes. This room, as you can see, is completely, almost completely barren. We have one, two, three, four, five, six at a glance, seven, eight displays up here. And as you can see, there are just so much more than that. <laughs> So a long way to go still for the uh, fossil area of the museum. Uh, yeah, all in good time. Uh, before we get on to the Dragonborn Hall, we should check out the planetarium. Uh, it is incomplete and it is up all of these sets of staircases, but this will be a beautiful uh, Dwemer planetarium once it is complete, which it will be as soon as I can get my hands on all of the requirements, which are currently quite a lot. Uh, this one doesn't seem like a lot, just five of each of the main Dwemer doohickeys and 20 gold Dwemer ingots. Uh, but that just scratches the surface. Last but not least is the Dragonborn Hall, full of displays to commemorate our beautiful achievements including down there moon and star uh and up there is shattered legacy i do believe it also displays the various uh things that our guild has accomplished so this is wind collar past and this is uh urkund uh yeah absolutely beautiful here is also Sankrator, uh, where we got the Akaviri Frostblade, Shockblade, and Fireblade, and killed uh, the Under King, whatever his name was. Uh, this is also where the displays for the Dragon Priests are going to end up. As you can see, we already have Vokun, Ragat, Hevnorak, Otar, Croesus, and Volsung. Um, by placing the Dragon Priest mask on the display out in the Hall of Heroes, it duplicates it here so that their armor and their mask can be together. Still need Marokis and Kona Creeks, Velok, Velok, Zedel, Dukan, Zakrisos, and Nakreen. Beautiful! As you can see, a lot of these displays are also quite empty. Like, I don't I don't know what this shit's for at all. Actually, Yakuda, Cold Harbor. This might be for the, the Grey Cow Nocturnal, whatever one that is. Something about the Dragon Forge, a Bronze Claw. I think this is Kona Creek's accoutrements as well. Oh, here's the one for the moon path to elsewhere that we accomplished. Did not get the Siligonder armor, uh, but we'll go back for it. No worries. Helgen, this is for Helgen Reborn, which we also have not started or touched. Uh, various water pipes and toys and beakers. I have no idea what this is for. Here's our standing stone displays, which we really should have been activating them as we went along, because currently we only have the war warrior stone. I think this display is just for having founded the Explorer Society. Looks pretty cool though. And here's our displays for the various uh, nine divines. Nice and pretty. Of course, a tour wouldn't be complete without also checking out the Hall of Secrets where all of our devious shenanigans that shouldn't be open to the public are displayed. That mainly looks like things that are most definitely stolen. Um, Thieves Guild stuff, and uh, Dark Brotherhood stuff, and gross things, I guess you could say. Uh, by things that are most definitely stolen, that mainly looks like the, uh, what is this thing called? The Royal Armory. So we have Joel Heart, which we stole from Solitude. Pendulum, this is the item that we will not be getting our hands on. Uh, Smile, just unique items that you, generally speaking, may not be able to get your hands on necessarily maybe i'm wrong but like the dagger of shalador um archmage selendor has that and you need to be able to pickpocket off of them to get it 
various vampire stuff that says, hey, we're a vampire and we, we do vampire stuff. Thieves Guild and Nightingale stuff for, you know, all of our spoils and the Thieves Guild spoils that we got for, you know, stealing various things. We're missing a handful of them. Uh, this golden urn and this jeweled drinking horn, but coming along nicely. The Stone of Baron Zaya, uh, the Crown of Baron Zaya, uh, that will eventually make its way here. Uh, this is artifacts that we get from the Dark Brotherhood, which we have not touched. We get skulls from the various idiots that we kill, um, and also a Hand of Glory. Uh, this is where various skulls and unique bones that we come across will go. So like Arvax, the Ancient Traveler, Hobbs, uh, Pelagius' hip bone is right here. Patama's skull. Cool. Also our various things in jars, heads display. Not too shabby at all. Ancient Dawnstar Sanctuary Dagger, Amulet of Sithis. What is that? Ring of the Night Mother. Ancient shrouded stuff. The robes of the Emperor. Yeah. Still, as you can see, and of course has been the case for most of these, uh, just a long, long way to go still until we are done. Guess I'll show you the safe house next. Uh, up here is where we have displayed Hogram's Light. Um, as well as the cape displays, our various cloaks, those go back here in this room. Uh, you can see we have quite a decent amount. You can see the names of them in here, the cloaks of the Dragon Priest, Scale, this, Vermina's Demotion, or Devotion. <laughs> uh, King Orgnum's Coffer sits right in here and it, it makes money for us. Uh, I put it in here as basically as soon as I got it and someone told me that it will have a better spot in here. Um, and thus far it has made us 40,000 gold. So that's how you get money. Get the coffer, set it there, and then completely forget about it. This is also where our dolls go. We really don't have a ton of these. Whoa. Oh, oops. Dragonborn, Chef, Child, Black, uh, sorry, Mythic Dawn, and Imperial Doll. Still quite a long ways to go. This room is empty. <clears throat> I do believe I purchased for this room. Yes. This room has stuff in it. Now my, now my buddies can come in here and hang out. I also bought patio furniture for my safe house. Nice. Looks pretty good. Come out here and have a nice chill time. Looks like it's raining, so let's go ahead and use the clear skies prayer. Our Lord Jeffrey will take care of it for us. Ah, beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Bring back the sun. Love it. Um, there is one final thing we should check out before we end the museum tour. Um, and to do that, we're going to go and take a walk around the backside of the museum. You see, our dear friend Rakis, who gifted to us the staff of Indaris, also came by a few days ago and gifted to us this beautiful airship, which I tried flying and found it very difficult, and now I can't get to it unless I fast travel. And here we are on the airship. We will take this away back to where we are meant to go just as soon as I figure out how this thing works. Oh, I got it working. Oh, we going up. There we go. Now we're driving an airship. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing can stop us now. Oh, except for some beautiful lag. Where are we going? We're leaving solitude and we're, we're, we're taking a trip. Where our trip will take us, I do not know. But rest assured, we will get there someday. What day is that? 
I don't know. But rest assured, we will one day get there. Um, oh, look at that. Beautiful. What is that room? Hmm. Interesting. Wow, these mountains are a lot taller than I remember them being. Bring the ship to a stop. Ahem. And here we are. Outside of something. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the museum. Uh, just to get an idea of how much left there is still to do. Um, I think in the next one we'll continue doing the Wheels of Lowell, uh, and I don't know where what we'll do after that, so if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments. Please, thank you. And remember to be nice to each other. Catch you guys all on the flippity-flop side, okay? Okay, bye!